ESPCI Paris officially the École supérieure de physique et de chimie industrielles de la ville de Paris, the City of Paris Industrial Physics and Chemistry Higher Educational Institution is an institution of higher education founded in 1882 by the City of Paris, France. It educates undergraduate and graduate students in physics, chemistry and biology and conducts high-level research in those fields. It is ranked as the first French Ecole d'Ingénieurs in the 2017 Shanghai Ranking. ESPCI Paris is a constituent college of PSL Research University and a founding member of the ParisTech Paris Institute of Technology Alliance. Five researchers and alumni from ESPCI Paris have been awarded the Nobel Prize: Pierre and Marie Curie, Physics, 1903; Marie Curie, Second Nobel Prize, Chemistry, 1911. Frédéric Joliot Curie, Chemistry, 1935; Pierre Gilles de Gênes, Physics, 1991; Georges Charpak, Physics, 1992. Two thirds of the students enter the school following a competitive examination, Concours Excespciens, following at least two years of classes préparatoires. The other students are recruited by submitting applications. The school itself is also known as Physique Chimie or simply PC. ESPCI Paris nurtures relationships with many industrial partners such as Schlumberger, Rodia, Total, Thales, Arkema, Michelin, Withings, which sponsors groups of students and has research contracts with ESPCI laboratories. ESPCI Paris also has partnerships with L'Oréal and St. Gobain for professional recruitment. History At the end of the 19th century, following the annexation of Alsace and Lorraine by Germany, France lost the École de Chimie de Mulhouse, Mulhouse Chemistry School, which was at that time the best chemistry school in the country. One of its professors, Charles Louth, obtained permission from the government in 1878 to create a Grande École. In 1882 the École supérieure de chimie industrielles de la ville de Paris was established and became ESPCI, its current name, in 1948. Since its foundation, the founders of the school have emphasized pluridisciplinarity. Biology was introduced in 1994. There are no tuition fees at ESPCI. After its establishment, the school rapidly became a meeting spot for the best scientists. From 1880 on, Pierre and Jacques Curie started a series of research on crystal electrical properties that led to the piezoelectricity discovery. In 1897, Marie Curie started her work on uranic rays discovered by Becquerel one year earlier. After numerous experiments in the ESPCI laboratories, she discovered that pitchblende was four times more radioactive than uranium or thorium. In July 1898, the Curies announced the discovery of polonium and in December of the same year that of radium. Pierre and Marie Curie received the Physics Nobel Prize in 1903. After the death of her husband, Marie Curie was granted the Chemistry Nobel Prize in 1911. Many former students have distinguished themselves, amongst which are Georges Claude, fifth year, founder of Air Liquid; Paul Langevin, seventh year, physicist and inventor; and Frédéric Joliot Curie, 39th year, founder of the CEA and Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935 with his wife Irene. In 1976, Pierre Gilles de Gênes Nobel Prize 1991 became director of the school and remained in this position until his retirement in 2002. In 2015, the City of Paris announced a major renovation plan, in order to modernize the buildings and laboratories of the school. Renovation work should start in 2018 and last five years. Topic education The course of study lasts four years. The two first years give the students a strong basic education in physics, chemistry and biology. The students can major in physics, chemistry or physico-chemistry. Laboratory research projects are also carried out. During the third year, the students carry out an industrial internship, which lasts from four to six months. More than 50% of the students do their internship abroad, in European countries, the United States, Japan, China, Australia, or other countries. During the fourth year, the students can either begin doctoral studies or do a master's abroad or in France. In 2002 a master's program in bioengineering was created. 
The quality of the education at ESPCI enables its students to work in any industrial sector, telecommunication, computing, chemistry, pharmacology, biology, and other fields, mostly in research and development 47% in R&D, 10% in production, 10% in consultancy, 5% in environmental work, 3% in teaching, 3% in computing, 22% in other fields such as marketing or management. Topic. Admission The primary mode of admission 60 out of 90 students every year is a competitive examination open to candidates enrolled in the PC physics chemistry section of the preparatory classes to the Grande Écoles. The examinations are the same as for the École Polytechnique but the components are weighted differently. Candidates to the competitive examination must have their license or an equivalent diploma. They must be aged between 17 and 22 on 1 January of the examination year. Foreign candidates must be under 26 and can attempt this examination three times. It is also possible for students from the MP section Maths Physics, Sci section Physics and Engineering Sciences, and BCPST section Biology, Chemistry, Physics and Earth Sciences of the preparatory classes or having completed two or three years of Physics or Chemistry in a French university to apply for ESPCI Paris. Admission is reserved to first-class honors students selected according to their academic results. Topic. Directors of the ESPCI Paul Schutzenberger 1882 member of the French Academy of Sciences Charles Louth 1897 Alban Haller 1905 member of the French Academy of Sciences Paul Langevin 1925 member of the French Academy of Sciences René Lucas 1947 to 1968 member of the French Academy of Sciences Georges Champetier 1969 to 1975 member of the French Academy of Sciences Pierre Gilles de Gênes 1976 to 2003 Nobel laureate member of the French Academy of Sciences Jacques Prost 2003 to 2013 member of the French Academy of Sciences Jean-François Joanny since 2013. Topic: <laughs> Professors of ESPCI Paris. Jérôme Bibet, physical chemist, founder of five startups: Raindance Technologies, Ademtech, Capsum, HiFibio, and Calixia. Bernard Caban, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Georges Charpak, Nobel laureate. Janine Cossy, Professor of Organic Chemistry, Novartis Prize 2000, Beringer Ingelheim Prize 2001. Matthias Fink, Professor of Acoustic, Professor at the Collège de France, member of the French Academy of Sciences, founder of Sensitive Object, Supersonic Imagine, Echozens and Time Reversal Com. Etienne Guyon, former director of the École Normale Supérieure and the Palais de la Découverte. Ludwig Liebler, Professor of Soft Matter, member of the National Academy of Engineering Jacques Luiner, Professor of Solid State Physics, member of the French Academy of Technologies, founder of Inventel, Ruwen, Sinov and Finsica Pierre Papon, Professor of Thermal Physics, former Director General of the CNRS Jean Rossier, Professor of Biology, member of the French Academy of Sciences Jérôme Lasseur, Professor of Quantum Physics Dmitry Rodichev, Professor of Condensed Matter Physics. Topic: Notable alumni. Paul Lebeau, four degrees, chemist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Lucien Lévy, 1892 to 1965, French radio engineer and radio receiver manufacturer. Paul Bouchereau, four degrees, physicist, pioneer of DC electric power distribution. Georges Claude, five degrees, founder of Air Liquid. Paul Langevin, seven degrees, professor at the Collège de France, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Georges Urbain, nine degrees, chemist, discoverer of the element lutetium, member of the French Academy of Sciences. 
Andre Louis de Bern, nine degrees, chemist, discoverer of the element actinium. Fernon Holweck, twenty six degrees, physicist. René Lucas, thirty four degrees, physicist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Henry Maurer, thirty six degrees, chemist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Frédéric Joliot, thirty nine degrees, Nobel laureate, nineteen thirty five, fondateur du CEA. Jean Jacques Trillet, thirty nine degrees, physicist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Georges Champetier, forty one degrees, chemist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Gaston Charlotte, forty one degrees, chemist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Pierre G. Y., sixty two degrees, chemist and statistician. Philippe Dreyfus, sixty six degrees, informatics pioneer. Michel Winterberger, sixty seven degrees, Pesini scientific advisor, member of the French Academy of Technologies. Michel Lavalou, sixty nine degrees, Rhone Poulenc scientific advisor, member of the French Academy of Technologies. Maurice Goldman, seventy degrees, physicist, member of the French Academy of Sciences. Guy Seban, eighty three degrees, International Chamber of Commerce secretary general. Alan Brillet, eighty five degrees, CNRS gold medal twenty seventeen, co director of Virgo for fifteen years. Henry Dominique Petit, eighty-seven degrees, Chairman of Sparian Protection. Sylvain Visconti, eighty-seven degrees, former Vice President of Rhone Poulenc. Serge Le Berry, eighty-seven degrees, Executive Director of Valio. Michel Baratieu, eighty-seven degrees, former Vice President of Halliburton. Christian Daly, eighty-seven degrees, International Director of Arkema. Laurent Vigrou, 89 degrees, director of the Institut d'Astrophysique de Paris. Xavier Drago, 90 degrees, sustainable development director and member of the board of Air Liquid. Bernard Serin, 90 degrees, chairman of Cockerell Samba, CMI, ex usener and of the FC Mets. Philippe Gerbel, 91 degrees, chairman of Total Petrochemicals France. Patrice Robichon, 91 degrees, scientific advisor of Pernod Ricard. Christian Reinaudo, 92 degrees, President of Agfa Healthcare. Philippe Klein, 95 degrees, Executive Vice President of Renault, member of the Volvo Board. Hervé This, 95 degrees, Physical Chemist. Henry Rajmanback, 98 degrees, General Director of the Information Technology at the European Commission. Eric Carreal, 98 degrees, Co-founder of Withings, Sculpteo and Invixia. Topic. Laboratories ESPCI hosts high levels laboratories Langevin Institute of Professor Arnaud Torin, Chemistry, Biology and Innovation Institute of Professor Jerome Bibet, Gulliver Laboratory of Professor Ely Raphael, Physics and Materials Laboratory of Professor Ricardo Lobo, Physics and Mechanics of Heterogeneous Media of Professor Philippe Pettigines Soft Matter and Chemistry Laboratory of Professor Ludwig Liebler Brain Plasticity Unit of Professor Thomas Priot Biological Mass Spectrometry and Proteomics of Professor Joel Vin Sciences and Engineering of Soft Matter of Professor Christian Fretini Topic The ESPCI Paris International Scientific Committee President, Professor Michael Cates, Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge Members, P.R. Jian Ping Gong, Professor at the Laboratory of Soft and Wet Matter at Hokkaido University, Sapporo, Japan, Professor. Laura H. Green, Physics Professor at Florida State University, Chief Scientist at the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, Professor of Physics at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign Professor. Hui Kao, Professor of Applied Physics and of Physics at Yale University Professor. Ben Furringer, Professor of Molecular Sciences at University of Groningen Professor. Krzysztof Matijaszewski, Professor of the Natural Sciences at Carnegie Mellon University Professor. Bruno Weber, Professor at the University of Zurich, Institute of Pharmacology and Toxicology, Experimental Imagining and Neuroenergetics Dr. Armand Ajari, Vice President Research and Development of St. Gobain, France Dr. Eric Carreal, President Founder of Inventel, Invixia, Sculpteo and Withings Drive. 
Helen Routh, Global Healthcare Executive, Innovation, Technology Development, and General Management, Phillips, Boston, USA.